In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite setups from the Gun Bunch tight end offense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about getting better at Madden 21. So if you want to get better at the game, go ahead and click the subscribe button and go ahead and try to improve at this game alongside of me as we look to get better every single day through different videos and strategies and tips that I will post right here on the channel. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you a simple setup that I absolutely love in the Gun Bunch tight end, and I want to share it with you because I don't think a lot of people... I don't think a lot of people use this setup from Gun Bunch Tight End. Now, I just released the ebook on it, and again, this ebook goes into super in depth and in detail of how to use every single play from the Gun Bunch Tight End. Um, we've got several different scenario breakdowns and things like that, but this ebook is all about simplicity and all about execution. So, don't want to bog you down in the weeds, but if you want to get the full offensive ebook from the Gun Bunch Tight End out of the Run Heavy Playbook, that link is in the description of this video. All right, guys, so that being said, I want to break down this PA all cross, and we're actually going to run this a little bit different than a way that you probably have already seen. Now, you've probably already seen the setup where they can basically just simply delay fade, and, I mean, it's just like, you know, you're just going to shred people. you got routes, you got man beaters all over the field, you got zone beaters all over the field, um, and things like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to give you a concept from this that is actually going to be really, really good against man, but it's also going to be really, really good against zone coverage, and it's going to help you um, turn this play that is essentially a flood to the right side of the field into something that you can also use on the back side of the field as well. So we're going to jump right in. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe at the bottom right hand corner of the uh, of the video. Okay. So all we're going to do with the setup is super, super simple. All we're going to do is we're going to streak the tight end. We're going to take the running back and put him on a little flat. I like personally to block and release the running back. I don't even like to put him on a route. You could also, if you want to, you could also option route the running back. Either one of those is fine with me, but just put the running back on one of those two or three routes right there. Just something underneath, an underneath pattern. From there, we're going to take Table and Austin. We're going to put him on a whip route, and then we're going to take Marquez Valdez-Scantling, and we're going to put him on a slant, and we're just essentially going to motion Valdez-Scantling uh, over here to the right side and snap him right here. You're going to see that he's going to get an automatic inside release and be able to torch, um, be able to absolutely torch man coverage to the inside, and that's one of the beauties of this, this concept. Now, again, what you'll also notice is this route to Tavon Austin will absolutely torch man coverage as well because you see here he's going to get off of the press and be able to get out into his route and easily just absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage. So you have essentially two man beaters on one side of the field, and what this is also going to do a good job of against is let's say that they're doing some kind of like a, the meta coverage where they're throwing purple zones or different underneath type of zones over on that side of the field this is going to beat that as well because that whip route is going to pull most of the zones out of the way so that you can hit this route let me show you what i'm talking about i'm going to put two um i'm going to put two hard flats on that side of the field as you can see right there we got hard flats on the field and now what you're going to see is again same motion same everything nothing's really changing here but what you'll notice is this whip route is going to pull you see that flat route is jetting out to the flat and now you have all this space to be able to hit that slant route over the middle for an easy you know several yard uh type of gainer now one of the things that's the most common at least from what i've seen from people when they face bunch tight end is to do something like this mabel coverage you've probably experienced it yourself if you ran this offense at all yet um, people are going to love mabel coveraging you out of the bunch tight end and to be honest with you it's simply not a great strategy this crossing route to Devonte adams is the best crossing route in madden 21 and it gets over the zone drops as you see there those are purple zones that are shaded back at 20 or 25 yards which is the most popular setting for people this is if they have zone drops most people that you're going to play they might not even be setting their zone drops which is a whole nother issue in and of itself but if they're setting their zone drops what's really nice about this concept is even if they set them it doesn't guarantee that they're going to be able to stop this play setup and this play design you'll see right here once again you see that that purple zone is not even in the vicinity of the crossing route because it completely gets glitched out by the halfback option route in this setup so uh, an amazing little concept right here from the bunch tight end and if you're not using this running back on an option route or on a little curl route something just simple underneath uh, in my opinion you're missing out because this is one of the best pool routes in the entire game just a simple 
curl route to the running back or a little option route. Watch what it does to this purple zone. The purple zone is in the middle of the field. He's not even on the sideline. And as you can see, it's got an easy, easy opportunity for you to be able to hit Devontae Adams. Now, you might say, well, what happens um, if they outside quarter you? What that means is basically what you're asking me is, what if they take their outside player and they put him in an outside quarter? Now, this will um, certainly help a little bit against the crossing route. But what I want you to see is, and this is why the streak of the tight end is so important. And when you run this offense, you really need to do this from time to time. This simple streak to the tight end, you'll see here that this seam flat goes up with the tight end, as you can see, because there's no flat route to pull it out. But let me give you another setup that is going to be even better. If you notice that they're starting to play a little bit more cover four on you, or they're starting to play something like that, where they're going to have that outside quarter there to kind of hang with the crossing route, that's where you can kind of adjust a little bit and essentially take your running back and put him on a basic wheel pattern um, to the outside. This is going to then pull that zone out of the way. And as you see, you've got all this room. And if they try to run some type of cover four, that's kind of an over adjusting, you can have a one play touchdown right up the seam with this concept. So this is one of my favorite passing concepts in the entire game. Now, really quickly, before I go any further, I want to remind you, if you want to get this offense, the full offensive link is in the description. And right now, it's on sale for just $15. Um, best offense in the game for $15. Bucks. It's a pretty dang good deal. So make sure to head down right now into the description and pick up the offense because that deal will not last. We're actually going to raise the price after this first weekend. Um, goes because we know how good this offense really really is so again this offense is amazing a lot of people are using it in weekend league and having a lot of success this is just one setup of a plethora of setups that you could run uh, from this offense and in my opinion this is one of the simpler setups and again one of the things you're going to notice is because that crossing route is so good it's pretty much guaranteed that they have to go to the crossing route. So if you see them go to the crossing route, as you can see there, just torches cover two. If you see them go to the crossing route, that's where it's on you to then adjust and go throw something else. Most of the time they're going to use the middle linebacker. That's at least what most people do in the Madden community is they use the middle linebacker. So because of that, that middle linebacker is going to be out of the way and you're going to basically be able to low ball this slant. Obviously I threw that way too late. But that slant route to that uh, scantling is something that's open. One other thing that I don't want to talk about too much, but I do want to highlight is when you do this uh, concept, and this is just a basic cover two right here, but if you'll watch this guy on the, on the left side here on this little zig, that snap throw is open all day long. I mean, literally all day long. You can snap throw these zig routes um, really, really well against man, against zone. It really doesn't matter. A lot of people like to play Mabel coverage. I'm telling you right now, a lot of people like to play Mabel coverage. And so what this little, this little zig right here to Tavon Austin is going to do a really, really good job of is, you see right here, I mean, it's just going to sit and again that's a yellow dropping and it's actually very unlikely that they would drop a yellow there because of all the other routes that you're going to kill them with but if they were to drop a yellow there yes the yellow um, would play that route but again what I want you to see is how effective um, this snap throw zig can actually really be you can look quick to the streak you see oh he drops there but then look right here right in that pocket easy five yards and you're moving the chain so again this is a very simple offense. That's it's really a urge to the Madden community to return to a simple a simple offense, running one formation primarily, maybe two, maybe maximum of three if you count red zone formations. But that's what we did in this ebook. It's very easy to understand. It's very easy to execute. A lot of people, I think, that's why they're having a ton of success with this. It's why I personally, I think, I'm having a ton of success with this offense right now. Um, my offense has really not been stopped. I've had really maybe one hard game offensively um, over the last probably three or four uh, weeks working through this scheme. Um, so, you know, it's just a really, really good offense. So, again, if you haven't picked it up yet, link is in the description. If you have any questions about the scheme or if you have any questions about the channel, go ahead and text me. My number is 812-216-3644, and it's very likely that in our text message membership, we're actually going to release a free sample to this guide um, more than likely in the next couple of days in our text message membership. So make sure that you have that. If you don't have the text Text message membership just shoot me a text message my number is 812-216-3644 let me know that you like to sign up for that and i'll get you the videos but again just want to remind you the price for this ebook will go up so make sure to go into the description right now and pick it up it's the best offense in the game in my opinion and i think it can definitely help you take your madden game to a whole nother level on the offensive side of the ball thanks for watching and we'll see you guys um, in the next video